What's up, peers, and welcome to Bitcoin to the Max here on the World Crypto Network. And now yesterday we've talked about how to open a Lightning Network payment channel, but now let's talk today about actually using it as a, a payment channel is supposed to be used. And so to go back, Alice and Bob both have provided each five Bitcoin into this time-locked two out of two multi-signature funding transaction. And now they have a UTXO that can only be spent with two out of two signatures or with a single signature and a time delay. Okay, so that was the funding transaction. And what is going to happen now is that we are going to, uh, to roughly say, update the current state of this funding transaction or of this multi-sig transaction, so to say. Uh, so initially, Alice and Bob both have five Bitcoin in there, right? And then Alice wants to send one Bitcoin to Bob. So what she's going to do is she's going to sign a commitment transaction with her uh, signature, basically spending the two out of two multi-signature uh, to two new addresses. Uh, one of Alice, which will receive four Bitcoin, and one private address from Bob, where only he has the private key, to where he can get six Bitcoin. So this commitment transaction basically says, I, Alice, am sending you now one Bitcoin by allowing you to withdraw more out of this multi-signature wallet than you have put into it. Okay? Uh, so th then also further here, one uh, Alice can do, do that a second time and she can sign another commitment transaction, sending to Bob again one Bitcoin. So she's going to sign a valid commitment transaction where it now says that Alice will only receive three Bitcoin and Bob seven. Okay, the total number of the on chain or of the payment channel, 10 Bitcoin, is not going to change. It's just the allocation of what part of this 10 Bitcoin goes to whom. At the current state, it's going to be three Alice and seven Bob. Right? Uh, but we also here have a little complication, right? Um, Alice has a signed transaction from Bob that says five Bitcoin each, right? That was the opening, the, the funding transaction. And uh, this means then that although Alice has committed to sending money to Bob, she still has a valid transaction that could give her equal five, five Bitcoin. Uh, and this means so that with every channel update, we need to make sure that the previous state is well wrong, invalid. And that's actually quite uh, tricky to do. And there, there are different proposals of doing this. Uh, currently, this works with a so-called revocation uh, transaction. So uh, it basically means that with every channel update, not only does Alice give her signature um, so that she signs to the three Bitcoin uh, to her own address, but she's also going to give Bob a little secret. And with this secret, Alice basically um, releases all her claims on the previous transactions. So basically what would happen is if Alice would publish the opening transaction, the funding transaction of five and five Bitcoin, which is the old state, she will have given Bob a revocation secret and then with the secret and with only Bob's signature alone, Bob can punish Alice for well, trying to close the payment channel with a old state by taking away all her money. Okay, so when Alice wants to close the channel with a old state, uh, Bob has the chance of defending himself with publishing his signature and the revocation secret that Alice has given him and then everyone on the on the blockchain will know that Alice here has tried to cheat uh, Bob and will therefore uh, not be able or then therefore Alice will lose all her money and Bob will get both uh, the three and the seven Bitcoin, so 10 Bitcoin in total. And there are some interesting things here. So uh, first of all, this means that in order to be secure when receiving money, you need to also have, well, you need to have the signature and every time this revocation secret. So Bob will not accept uh, Alice's transaction, for example, for the coffee, 
unless Alice will give him a valid signature and the secret. Only then will Bob give Alice her coffee, right? Uh, because if he does not have either this or both the signature and the revocation secret, Alice could take this money back. Though further then, Bob needs to be online in order to broadcast uh, the secret if Alice decides to steal from him, right? So if Alice is publishing an old state, a old commitment transaction, which has a valid signature, so it would be included into the blockchain. But because there is this time lock and because Al Bob has the secret, Bob can prove that Alice is providing here a old state. And then as a punishment again, he can take all her money. But Bob has to be active. He needs to actively defend himself in order to make sure that the money that he receives stays with him. And this is somewhat of a trade-off. And you need to be certain of that, that when you are connected to the Lightning Network and you're receiving money, you need to be online to defend the money that you have gained. But on the other hand, when Alice currently at her stage, she, she has only sent money. She's only pushed money away from him. And this means if Bob would publish a old transaction state or old channel state, then Bob would give money back to Alice. So Alice as a sender does not need to check the blockchain if Bob is trying to steal from her because uh, she has only given money away and she cannot steal more money from Bob. So the receiver has to be really vigilant and of course online to make sure that the money that he has received actually stays with him. And there are again, right, uh, security trade-offs. Uh, so I mean, your, your node is going to be hopefully online at least once every day uh, or so, or well, every month. Uh, the time frame that Bob has to defend himself can be set at the time when the channel is opened. So when Bob is certain that he will be online, let's say once a week, then he will set this time window, the check sequence verify window to exactly one week. And then Bob can come online every week and check if, there, if Alice is trying to steal from him. And if so, he can defend himself, but he needs to be vigilant and he needs to be online. And that is a major security concern here and a, a fundamental different a security framework than the Bitcoin on-chain transactions. Because here you can be passive to defend yourself. As long as, as you don't leak your private keys, no one can steal your money. And that is much more passive, much more secure, therefore. So again, trade-offs. And you need to be clear that these trade-offs do exist. Uh, well, Piers, thank you very much here for joining me on Bitcoin to the max. If you like the show here on the World Crypto Network, well, leave a like and subscribe. If you want to support me personally, go to teleco.in slash Max. And again, thank you very much for joining me here and see you on the next show. Bye-bye.